an incredible reception for a world record holding gold medal swimmer who describes his own achievements as indescribable. I remember doing gym in this, this sports hall and uh, yeah, it's just my lifestyle's completely changed after winning the gold medal and I want to try and take it on board. Born with cerebral palsy and poor motor skills on his right side, he's gone from the hydrotherapy treatment pool to the Olympic pool. His role today was to inspire others. What he's achieved is absolutely amazing. I've got the goal of being a swimmer as well, and I came third in regional trials. And it's just a great honour to have a Paralympic champion come to our school. Never thought I'd be here for the day when that came. It's absolutely fantastic, and to know that the school that I go to is part of that, it's just amazing. Basically, it's making our school known and making us all proud, really, giving us something to aspire to. He's proud to have chosen the village for his repainted post box and he's enjoying the exposure too. Uh, it's quite unreal really, I've been uh, cooped up in Manchester for the past two years and I rarely come home to St Stephen and it's just a real, real privilege to come home and see the gold post box in, in person. Everyone's so excited and I've seen all my uh, old teachers in the Brannell and uh, yeah, it's so good to see them. Training more than 20 hours a week in the pool, none of it would have been possible without the dedication of his parents. All his family were there watching him winning that gold medal and the, and the medal cel celebration at the end, wonderful. Yes, it was absolutely fantastic and he was presented with some flowers and we've got another son who's 19 and Fraser and he went to the other side and afterwards um, he threw the flowers up to Fraser and that was just so emotional, it was fantastic. It was amazing, when he was waving his finger showing he was number one, we, we all thought that for a long time so uh, it was wonderful to see and the, they call him the ferocious fox, I believe. They're a fearless fox. So he, he goes out to every race to win it. I, I had a feeling because I, we know him and we know his tenacity and he came through. With ambitions for more Paralympic success, Cornish botcher champion Alex Russell received a gift for the school. I, I'm thinking of maybe going to Rio in three years. These medals that I got, it feels like that, but it's a big achievement for him and the school. Heading back to training soon in Manchester, he says he'll miss Cornwall. The only other thing he really needs right now is a sponsor. Richard Lawrence, St. Stephen's for the West Country tonight.